What do you enjoy most about working a job in the sharing economy? Well, it's interesting. Um, you know, I, I really view the sharing economy as a big spectrum. And, you know, for some people, sharing truly is what they mean, you know, sharing. They're, they're talking about uh, the actual, you know, can, can we post uh, a website where you can actually swap stuff? Truly, we're in an angle of it that is commerce. And, and maybe the collaborative uh, economy is a little bit of a better description. What I like about it is uh, it's really neat to see the economies of the world changing. It's really neat to see uh, people coming back to urban areas very quickly, just like they left urban areas uh, uh, years ago. People around the world are starting to return to cities, and cities are starting to have to adapt. How are we going to deal with that? And uh, it's fun to actually be able to watch such a shift. I never thought we would see such a shift at such a time. So you have people returning to cities and city and, and, and the uh, folks who live and, and uh, you know, own cars or property or whatever it is, they want to uh, find a way to capitalize on their underused assets. It's actually really fun to actually watch this happen. I have all the conversations that I have about it professionally. I have it from a best practice perspective. Mm. What works right for the community? And can you look at examples from around the world at what works and what doesn't? Mm -hmm. So there's really best practices and there's also worst practices. There are examples within the collaborative economy, sharing economy universe, where sometimes uh, the conversations between uh, local regulators and the economy uh, uh, industries it's, itself, um, where the regulatory atmosphere that they actually put together, it doesn't really work. I like to help people design uh, regulatory atmospheres or, or just industry, you know, sh uh, uh, economic atmospheres where everybody can understand how this can benefit the community mm -hmm. and how it can work well for everybody. Mm -hmm. And there are examples out there and it's, I think it's as fun to see as other people probably saw major shifts in industry and economy over the last, you know, 100 or 200 years. And I never thought we'd see this coming like this and it's really come quick. Yeah. What are some examples that you've seen that surprised you? I guess as somebody who kind of graduated college with the uh, rise of the internet, you know, and the internet really just kind of exploding and becoming this tool that for some of us, we, we, we kind of understood the purpose of it. And of course, for plenty of people, they really made, made the most out of it. I thought it was a tool where for me, you know, where I'd be able to get information, send emails, you know, connect with people. I'm always interested in the new uh, bells and whistles that popped up. But all of a sudden now, you were able to build these platforms where people were able to connect and actually do commerce and, uh, and actually uh, be able to find uh, the, the, um, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the underused asset in, in that community that they wanted. Oftentimes you hear the example of a drill, that a drill is only used about 24 minutes a year, something like that. It's neat for me that somebody could go online now and say, hey, is there anybody nearby I could rent a drill from? Mm -hmm. there, there probably are even drill swaps for all I know. I just think, wow, what a neat opportunity that you can actually do this and, and, and achieve whatever, it, whatever you need to get done. You can mm -hmm. achieve whatever you're looking for.